A touching tribute tonight for the first night of Hanukkah. Parents of slain journalist Stephen Sotloff lighting the first candle on a menorah in his memory. It happened this evening at the Chabad Center of Kendall, and the night team's Kevin Ozebek is there for us tonight. Kevin? And Craig, this is the first time we have seen Art and Shirley Sotloff since their son's memorial service. To them, the candle they lit tonight represents the burning desire Stephen Sotloff had to help those suffering in the Middle East. The traditions are deeply rooted in history, but for Art and Shirley Sotloff, the hardship they face is still so fresh. Stephen's faith helped him cope with a punishment that was not his own making. It's now been four months since Stephen Sotloff was brutally beheaded at the hands of ISIS. Art and Shirley now will celebrate their first Hanukkah without their Stephen. And the message of Hanukkah is a little bit of light dispels a lot of darkness. Despite a continued state of mourning, the Sotloffs are proud to say Stephen leaves behind a legacy of light. As a frontline journalist, Stephen shined his spotlight on the atrocities of war. And while held captive, he still looked to God and held tight his Jewish values. He was forced to conceal his Judaism, but this did not prevent him from practicing his faith. With this bright life now gone, the Chabad Center of Kendall wanted the Satlavs to light the first candle on this first night of Hanukkah. They were surrounded by family friends like David Mermelstein. This is the festival of lights, but they still need support to overcome the darkness of losing a son. I sat next to him, I talked to him, I encouraged him to live. And to live and to be a light to others, Art and Shirley have created the Stephen Sotloff Foundation. The foundation will provide scholarships to college students who also want to pursue a career covering conflict. If you'd like to learn more or even possibly give a donation, go to our website, WSVN.com. Live in Southwest Miami-Dade, Kevin Ozbeck, 7 News 19.